There are people today who are custodians of history. Both the pain and the crown of history. And sometimes they are honest and lavish enough to teach you and tell you this is how it works. It is the reason why dishonoring fathers is foolishness of the highest order. They may not be perfect, oh, but they, have, they are custodians of history. They have navigated through the waters of time and that they are still sailing till today. There is something they know. Experience is not the best teacher, but it's a teacher. Especially as taught by a survivor. Are we learning? Be a student of history. This business you are doing, who has done it before? This ministry you are doing, who has done it before? This persecution you are going through, who has gone through it before? That's the reason why the Bible is such a spectacular book. Because it has an array of life situations and how people came out of it. You literally have the liberty to pick the one that relates to your current state. And there will be a, a straight line, a compass from your pain to your joy. The Bible. Be and remain a student of history. Help those under the anointing. Are we learning tonight? History reveals hidden dangers. History educates. History enlightens. History reveals codes that open up doors in the future. Number one, vision. Keys that provoke dissatisfaction, plant hunger, and sponsor continuity until you finish. Vision. Two, you must maintain a vibrant spiritual life. Number three, you must become and remain a student of history. Learn from yesterday. Learn from yesterday. Number four, are you ready? The fourth key that helps people to drive until they finish is mentorship. 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 What is mentorship? An opportunity for you to learn through the wisdom the experience, the pain of others who have gone ahead of you. An opportunity to learn the wisdom, the pain, the experience of others. I wrote something here and I want you to listen. Mentorship creates the platform for your progress. Mentorship celebrates your progress. And mentorship challenges you to press for greater heights. Mentorship creates literally the platform for your progress. And mentorship celebrates your progress while you are following that path. And then it challenges you to press for greater heights. If these three things doesn't happen to you, you are not enjoying mentorship. Number one, I repeat, it creates the platform for your progress. Literally, creating a platform by teaching, by educating, by training, by bringing enlightenment, by pruning, by correcting, creates a platform, sets you on the sail to an excelling life, spiritually and otherwise. The same mentorship is there to celebrate you. An example of a mentor is a coach. Bring an athlete who would later become a world champion. Literally from nothing, that coach begins to build him. Are we together? Perhaps that person comes most likely overweight, fagged out, joints not moving, and the coach literally begins to set the sail for that person to be a great boxer, a great athlete, or whatever it is, a footballer. And then the coach is usually at the field celebrating the goals that are scored. When uh, a player, a footballer, especially soccer player, when he scores the goal, usually after rejoicing with the colleagues, some of them run to their coach. I did it. You said I'm a champion. And they come and give them a big hug. Then go back to continue playing. Only a foolish player scores a goal and then goes to sit down and says, I'm done. I mean, that's it. Provided the final whistle is not blown, anything can happen. History is full of scenarios, especially in soccer, where sometimes at the 11th hour, people's pride were torn to pain and lessons. Footballers, you see, remember? Mentorship. 
it is important for you to have people and systems in your life that your success cannot intimidate. Did you hear what I said? If everybody around you is intimidated by your success, none of them qualifies to be a mentor to you. There must be someone in your life that no matter the stride, you can return back, receive a pat at the back, and even without being told, you still know that there is a bar that is higher. Are we together? Unfortunately, what most people call mentorship is not mentorship because the people they claim to look up to, they are greater than them by every standard. And while wisdom is not dependent on physical results, there is an expression that must keep you humble. The human spirit does not easily get humble until there are obvious results. Are we together? If a billionaire is mentoring you, the first day you make one million dollars, it will be a miracle to all your contemporaries. See, I mentioned money and people, who knows? Maybe that's the grace that is flowing. You don't believe it. Most of us don't need it. But for those who need it, why not? Are we together? So, you make a million dollars. And among your contemporary subordinates, you are a miracle worker. But you now get to a mentor and you say, sir, I made a million dollars. And he says, oh, really? Interesting. That means the law is working. All right, congratulations. Pay your tithe. Go and uh, sow a seed and then get to work. Let's go to the next phase. It means I'll become harder and stricter on you. And you're like, so everybody's celebrating me. That's the purpose of mentorship. A mentor is not a friend. Are we together? No. A mentor is one who challenges you till he brings out the best. Sir, just to let you know that I went for a meeting and my God, I began to see a grace manifest through me that I've never seen. I was calling out names and prophesying and someone rose up from the wheelchair and he says, wow, that's interesting. Okay, so that's all right. Let's get to work. Are we together? There must be a benchmark that is high, high. Oh, sir, just to let you know, by the grace of God, I've been able to build my house. And he says, congratulations, but don't settle till the day you start building it as a seed in the house of God. Let's get to work. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Everything that makes you settle over small results, I challenge it from your life in Jesus' name. Listen, I want to make a statement at the risk of sounding arrogant. Let me say this. If you are a man of God or a businessman or anybody frontiering the management and the building of people let me tell you the truth your first assignment is to do the best in righteousness to make a major part of the world work in your own life it is more convincing your leadership is more powerful as God grants you grace to enjoy certain obvious results in your life are we together now there are things that when you are teaching people even if they don't understand they will believe you and it will be foolish to argue it because you are not the one at a loss. Are we together now? Yeah. It's the reason why we must keep praying even as leaders. Greater evidence. Back me up, oh God. Greater results. Do you know, many things I'm saying now, I said the same thing years ago, but it, not, it did not carry the same effect because there were certain results that needed to be added. Are we together now? Yes. The same thing I'm saying now, if Christ tarries, I will be saying it 10 years to come. But the, there will be an audience that is not listening now, but they will listen then because your profiting would have appeared. Hallelujah. With all humility, I'll share with you something. I remember when we had our first, you know, international conference. Sit down, sit down, please. And, you know, when God did the wonderful things that he did, when I returned back to the country and preached, my message on Sunday when we returned from that conference was, who is on the Lord's side? And after I was done, I returned back. Someone sent a long text, great person I used to know years ago. And he said, Apostle, you said this thing. He said, as I watched on YouTube, and I saw, he said he kept crying almost all through, especially the final session. And that he went back and cried to God. We were not necessarily very close, but then he was around and he heard the things that people were saying. And he said, my God, look at this. That the thing challenged him and he was telling his wife, he said, no excuse again. No excuse again. The same Lord is rich unto all. 
And he wrote something there. He said, I admit that I deserve to be where I am because I was not serious with God. I just encouraged him and said, look, you can start from any level. God grants grace. I'm praying for you. May it never be that while God is giving you an opportunity to be mentored, as others are learning, you are sitting down acting, I know, I know. I'm praying that after 10 years, 20 years, 5 years, 2 years, you will not look back and be angry at those who are your friends today simply because you refuse to listen. He said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He says, they are life. To those who find them and held to their flesh I pray for you the malleability to receive the malleability to be trained from my heart I declare may God supply that grace for you yeah. hallelujah mentorship is showing you a roadmap minus the pain factor minus the pain factor please sit down please sit down <laughs> I remember Years ago, a very sincere man, you know, he came and he was talking to me then we were in Zaria. And um, he met me and he said, Apostle, you know, and he was complaining about finances. And I was just trying to calm him down. I wanted to truly just explain a few things to him. Because I was seeing from what he was saying, decisions that he was making that were not correct. But he would not know. You see, Ba, ignorance is like being a child. A child does not know he's a child until he grows. Is there any child that knows he's a child? No. Until you grow and look at your yesterday's picture, you'll be like, my God, you mean I was this small? No baby knows he's a baby. That's how ignorance is. So you can be making a lot of mistakes and not know because the frame of your understanding cannot teach you otherwise. It is until you grow and look at your former self, you will be surprised. So I was trying to talk to the gentleman in love. You know, he was a father of, I think, two children or so, if I recall. And I was saying, sir, and then he, the man shot me down. He was angry and I understood. He shot me down. He said, do you know what it means to pay the school fees of, was it two or, or four children? I can't remember. Maybe, do you know what it means to pay the school fees of four children? And I kept quiet. I said, I'm sorry. At that time, I'm not sure I was paying school fees for less than 100 people. And I was just looking at the man. I said, let's pray. You know that kind of prayer. Father, you are the God of all mercy and grace. You send rain both on the good and the evil. I commit to you. You know that kind of general prayer, not saying anything exactly. Let that man just live in peace. I used to counsel then and a gentleman came and as soon as he entered where I was counseling, I saw a spirit behind him. And you know, men of God, sometimes, especially when you start ministry, you are burning with a lot of zeal. And I was trying to explain to him that there was a situation I was seeing in the spirit. The man shot me down. I said, I cannot have any spirit following me. I can't. I mean, that guy just shot me down. I kept quiet. This is how I sat down. I understand. He, he preached. I'm sure he read a book and he was trying to, be, to believe what he read. And I told him, I said, okay, let me pray for you. Do you know it was after one hour or so, the guy got up from the ground after shouting, manifesting, disturbing everywhere. He went home and over the next two or three days, he kept sending me a text. He said, Apostle, what happened? I mean, I believed all these things and he was surprised. He said, me, you know that status of a man of God and with all the things he has said on stage, here is the guy rolling a, 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 around as if something is wrong with him. And it was not a revelation problem. Because he knew what he knew. And yet there was a, still a spirit there. See, Ba, there are heights in the spirit. Oh. There are levels in the spirit. Apollos, listen, you have done well. But there are things. There are things. There are things in the spirit. There are heights. There are dimensions in the spirit. We have handled this thing about the anointing for a while. But Kai, there are levels. 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 I'm challenging someone who is following online. Maybe you are a man of God. Great. Great. 
you have results let me tell you this come to terms with the fact that there are levels in the spirit and honestly not everybody is on that level there are dimensions God has brought me to there was not there there are dimensions I've not yet gotten to and I aspire by God's grace that I'll be able to touch certain dimensions in the spirit but once you have an arrival mentality you will surround yourself with mediocrity till you become frustrated and I have taught you woe betides a man of God who becomes exhausted in the presence of members members are interesting people they know when you don't have anything to offer again they will still say yes sir they will still say emoji my pastor my but in their heart they know you have you are plateaued there's no more again are we together yes there are helpers who know when you don't need them again because the seeds they are giving you does not have an assignment again you have plateaued in vision you have plateaued in wisdom you have plateaued in power of what benefit is still investing in your ministry do you know every time when I pray for the givers in Koinonia I pray I say Lord let the people who give to this ministry never become frustrated because they cannot see the fruit that comes from their giving are we together there is a way you give and you see that you are helping the nations receive you can hear a message and as a giver as a partner you can say my God thank God for my seed I'm inspired to do more by the mercies of God I help a lot of people I take care of so many people and families and sometimes especially for the ones that are in school when they return with their results you see them happy waiting to show me and they show me and sometimes you can see nine straight A's and I'm like my God give me a big hug what do you want you see and all of that and then the ones who didn't do too well you see them feeling bad I said no don't worry you can start again but I know how motivated I am as a man when I see results are we together just know that there is more than what you have seen the body that was healed in your meeting is not the greatest that can be healed the prophecy you gave no matter how accurate it is one over ten it is still F create a bar my God become like Samuel are we together now that his word does not fall that if you tell people lift up your hands someone will say thank you he's finally about to speak not as human worship they have learned by experience how powerful your words are our father in the Lord that the Jew will stand and say there's somebody here to many people if you come to me and I say there's somebody here you may say no I call my name now but why do you go there and he says there's somebody there and you are satisfied because you have seen a track record are we together now there is more there is more there is more so someone I came with a prophetic word for you this is not your rest oh woman of God this is not your rest man of God this is not your rest businessman this is not your rest God has a lot more he only tested you he only tested you allow mentorship to become a ladder and for some of you a lift don't be, try to reinvent the wheel whereas there is a way there is a way of the anointing there is a way of ministerial exploits there is a way of power there is a way of transgenerational influence there is a way of freshness there is a way of ever increasing grace there is a way you can tap into wisdom that you can prove there is a way of accessing the graces that compel kings to hear you there is a way when God brings it close to you don't fight it my son hear the words of my mouth attend to my sayings tend to my sayings there is a way to be wealthy you have gone around this mountain long enough you didn't find it sit down and learn sit down and learn apostle I got a job it didn't work I claim I'm a businessman it didn't work I started programs it didn't work my brother sit down you're not the first to look for money if it's not working there is something you don't know and a grace you do not have are you learning you are still struggling to build a house 
and people are building nations sit down there's something you don't know you organize a program for instance with all due respect you put posters everywhere nobody came sit down there is something you don't know are we together now what is it that does not make quality people it makes quality people run away from you nobody of influence comes to you there is something you don't know sit down for someone you must challenge yourself no I, I'm tired of entertaining bankruptcy of results I must press press until things work in my life hallelujah this issue of begging for rent every month every year begging for rent Lord there is a way out in the name of Jesus I am tired I've read the books I didn't see the lights there I did whatever I didn't see the lights there go to them that sell and buy go to them that sell and buy there are many many people saying I'm a billionaire owing all around you see that now but they will not sit down to learn he who has the son has eternal life I have the son so I have eternal life. let me tell you something about mentorship mentorship demands an awareness light comes from a higher dimension to the dimension that is needed if I stand before a man of God who is more grace than me I will be stupid to stand and say you know what uh, pray for me imagine me going to one of our fathers and say pray for me no I will not do that be stupid pray for me no. I will find what to do if it's a seat to connect a book to read something to listen to that connects and transfers that grace are we together now don't be ashamed learning from those ahead of you does not remove the title that in in boxing there's featherweight is it featherweight light middleweight eh? or lightweight feather or lightweight there is middleweight you can be a lightweight champion huh you are a champion but there are people you will still not try you don't have to be spiritual to not try them you will die because when you get to the realm of heavy weights even those who are beaten there are still champions there is a realm where both the winner and the loser as champions they have crossed a certain mark let me tell you there are people if you see the weight they carry in the spirit if you think it is their words that will tell you their weight you'll be making a mistake we have all kinds of animals in the world. We have elephants, we have giraffes, we have hippopos. And most of these animals don't make too much noise. But you measure them or go online and find out their weight, you won't believe it. The blue whale, for instance, these are fishes that are, you know, sizes of, of, of boats and ships. It is says that I think the heart of a blue whale, if I'm not mistaken, the heart is about a vehicle, a vehicle, a car. The heart oh, is like the car you are entering. And yet the thing is quietly moving in the water. And there are tiny animals that you can't see, only the noise. Have you seen animals that like cricket? You know it's somewhere and the noise is what will bring you to it to kill it. Because it won't keep quiet doesn't have any defense and it won't keep quiet there are many people who are like that Brrr, and you are watching you are saying my god what is the what is this a fool even if he's silent you are regarded wise until you truly become wise this is not your place this is not your rest this is not your rest get angry in your spirit if you have the call of God upon your life here let tonight's teaching challenge you get angry listen to teachings listen to teachings build capacity are we together now build capacity build capacity
Thanks for watching Revival Time Hub. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves, for if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass, for he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was.